Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my experience traveling with EVA Air Business Class for the first time from Kuala Lumpur KLIA Airport to Vancouver. I've always been a fan of EVA Air, but I never had the chance to fly business class before. So when I had the opportunity to do so, I was really excited. Okay, so just checked in my luggages and uh, we will be heading to the lounge in uh, this KRA airport and uh, from there my check-in time my boarding time will be 12 10 all the way to Taipei headed to the lounge after immigration clearance flying EVA Air business class allowed me to have priority immigration clearance at KRA let's take a look around the lounge The Plaza Premium Lounge at KIA had good views of the runway with a good mix of local delights which could be ordered using a digital menu via a QR code. There's even unlimited Asahi beer on tap and Wi-Fi is also available. Come, let's check it out. So now I'm at the lounge in KIA waiting for my boarding time. Maybe I'll probably just get a drink. I'm looking at the great view of the tarmac. It's quite bright there. So, just got all my boarding passes, and uh, as you can see here, uh, I've checked in all the way to Vancouver, from Taipei to Vancouver. And uh, my boarding time from KL to Taipei is 12 10, which uh, I've got one hour to spend in the lounge. Is my boarding pass to Taipei. So yeah, let's enjoy the view and cheers. Closer to boarding time, I had to take a bus from where the lounge was to my boarding gate. As the airport monorails were closed for upgrading, the bus ride to our gate took 10 minutes. Thankfully, the boarding gate was not too far from me. Planes used for my flights to Vancouver were all Boeing 777s. It's now time to board. Seating configuration for the business class was 1, 2, 1, where window seats were once each and the aisle had two seats. I took a window seat for more privacy. So anyway, just boarded the flight and uh, I just got my seat. So at first glance, I think the plane is a little bit old. Uh, but yeah, I think it's quite spacious enough. Uh, just got my towels. I think they didn't have like fresh towels, but just like packeted towels like this. 
and uh, yeah, I can show you around. The seat was incredibly comfortable as I had plenty of space to stretch out. Even though the plane facilities were a little bit dated, there was plenty of storage space available. And look at this, there were even charging ports available for your handphones or mobile laptops. And also, there was a decent electronic reclining seat system in place as well. Not long after I boarded the flight, I received a beautiful Salvatore Faragamo hard case travel kit from the stewardess, which I think will come in handy during my flight. Okay, shall check its contents. Really good noise cancelling headphones were provided to by Thunder and I love this. Look, check it out. Look at this sturdy casing. Let's now check out the pre-lunch menu. While the flight attendant came around and offered me a welcome drink, I started to check out the in-flight entertainment system. There was however a limited selection of movies, TV shows and music, and the screen seemed to lack touch sensitivity too. The meal is served, so this is the starter. Oh, by the way, yeah, uh, the headphones are really good. It's, uh, really cancellations, noise cancellation, and has good bass in it. Yeah. Here, as a starter, we had seafood with smoked salmon and lightly grilled scallops. Let's give it a go. Squeeze the lemon. Seven. Trying to scallop. This fresh and new flavor. This is my perfect first time. Very 
that it's supposed to have. Some tata and some fish roll. And for the mains, I had tenderloin steak with brown sauce, cheese, mashed potatoes, and salad. Since the main is here, let's try the mains. Try the beef tenderloin. It's a little bit tough. But let's see how it tastes. The whole is a bit tough though. And a bit dry as well. Mashed potato with cheese here. The base is pretty soft there as well. This is a bit dry. Nevertheless, it's pretty good to start with. And I ended lunch off with a chocolate cake, a plate of fruits, and a cup of Taiwanese tea. So finally reached into Taoyuan International Airport, Taipei and uh, waiting for my transit to Vancouver. So now the time is 5.45 local time in Taipei and uh, I have to head to the counter outside to check um, my transit area by showing the boarding pass. So the next flight will be at uh, 11.50, almost midnight uh, from Taoyuan, Taipei to Vancouver. Uh, pretty much 5.45, the sky is already getting dark. I've never been in Taiwan before. The, the last time I came, it's I think five years back. So now we're back again. So let's see. Oh yeah, okay, there's a counter here. Let's see. How do we get to transit? Uh, transit. Where is the counter? I thought it's outside. This they are directing us to the baggage area. Oh, by the way, we are in Terminal One, so I'm not too sure which terminal. We're gonna get we have to get two. It doesn't write in my boarding pass. Oh transfer is there. Alright, I just hit the transfer desk. Which is uh, straight up. So after that after probably getting to the transfer desk to we'll do some inquiries, I probably will head to the 
the launch. And probably let's take a look at the launch. We'll do a review of the uh, Laurel Business Class launch for Eva Air in Taipei. After having to queue for 45 minutes for baggage scanning to enter the transit area, I finally managed to clear the massive queues and headed for the lounge to take a rest and have some light foods. The EVA Air Lounge is located at level 2 of the transit check-in area of Terminal 1. Let's check out the food and drink selection. Decided to just get a sausage and some steamed Taiwanese dumplings to eat. Food was just average, but I love the ice cream here. So probably have something like in the lounge. Um, all waiting for the flight. Quite packed uh, at this hour. Probably there are a lot of people doing transits at the moment and waiting for the next. So it's quite a busy airport uh, in Taipei. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, I think you can enter this place, of course, if, uh, if you're a business class or flying uh, business. This is the only lounge apparently for EVA Air. That's what the staff mentioned earlier. But uh, you can also uh, pay apparently if you're not, a, you're not taking business class. And uh, the, the counter staff actually has mentioned that uh, it's around 58 US dollars per person. And now check out this wonderful Hagen Dazs ice cream, of which you can eat all you can. There is even private showers, and I will now show you the private shower area. However, you will need to first register and get a card from the registration counter staff before you can enter the shower area. Now check this out. Beautiful private bathroom, isn't it? So spacious. This is indeed what I need to freshen up. Alright, yeah, just ended the shower to really freshen up uh, from a four hour flight early on. So currently it's uh, around 7.50, almost 8 o'clock in Taipei, uh, waiting for the next flight. So still a lot of time to spare. So probably just use the computers, uh, which is complimentary by the way, and uh, do some work. And yeah, so... 
get some drinks as well and then probably have some refill of uh, some Hagen Dazs ice cream. Very soon, I needed to board the flight for the next leg to Vancouver. I took up a window seat also for this Boeing 777 flight. Now checking out the dinner menu. My stewardess in charge of our section, Miss Yo-Yo, recommended me to try the Taiwanese braised pork rice for tonight's main course. For this long flight, they gave us a set of pajamas to change into for more comfort. And these are by local Taiwanese designer Jason Wu. Really impressive, isn't it? Dinner has arrived after one hour into the flight with a starter of prune and crab cake with caviar. I love the taste combination, bursting with all the freshness and sweetness of its ingredients. Then came a special pre-main course with faux gras, apple puree, jelly and some salads and beetroot. I also ordered garlic bread as a side. Now, this was indeed an intense combination of flavors. Okay, check this out. Here comes the main. Beautiful, isn't it? It was indeed delicious and satisfying. Changed up and get ready for bed. Oh, and in EVI business class, they have their wonderful stewardess even helping us convert our seats into a bed while I was changing into my pajamas. Anyway, good night. Hope I can get a good rest tonight before landing into Vancouver. Soon, we landed into Vancouver International Airport and clearing customs is just so convenient as we needed to follow the instructions at this 
e-customs clearing terminal and collect a printed receipt as follows to be handed to the customs officer. All took less than 20 minutes. All right, I've just uh, collect all my luggages and probably will be heading to uh, the hotel now. Mm, I just have to wait for my uncle uh, who is still stuck at immigration. I'm not sure why. Probably it's, it's uh, something to do with his passport that could not be scanned at the machines. But yeah, after a 22-hour total travel time, uh, all the way from KL to Vancouver, right? And uh, the last leg was uh, from Taipei to Vancouver. That took us around 10 hours, 45 minutes. But I guess I'm uh, still really tired and full from the flight. So I don't think I'll be having dinner. Uh, just uh, probably take a Uber and uh, head to the hotel. So the current timing now in uh, Vancouver is already 8 p.m. And uh, yeah, we'll be staying in Vancouver for two days and then probably... After that, we will head to the cruise center on Saturday to take uh, the cruise, the Princess Cruises to Alaska. And can't wait to show you guys around uh, what we have uh, in the Vancouver as well as Alaska. And it's also my first time here. So, yeah, I can't wait as well to see the food, the sights, and uh, meet the local people if I could, right? So yeah, till then, let's uh, stay tuned and... Uh